Hi, my name is Michael Langford. I'm the IB Middle Years Program Coordinator at Turner Fenton Secondary School. The purpose of this presentation is to outline the Regional Learning Choices programs, uh, and specifically the IB program at Turner Fenton, and outline the process for applying. Regional Learning Choices programs empower students by providing an opportunity to develop and explore skills in a particular area of interest. The Peel Board offers 17 Regional Learning Choices programs, six at the elementary level and 11 in secondary. Uh, all of the secondary programs begin in grade nine. You can learn about each program at the Peel's um, regional programs page on Peel Schools website. You can see the address at the bottom of the slide and learn about what programs are offered at what schools and important dates about applications. Here are the 11 regional learning choices programs beginning in grade nine. There's advanced placement, arts, graphic and design management, International Baccalaureate, International Business and Technology, International and Executive Leadership Academy, Regional Skilled Trades, Trades, Regional Sports, SciTech, Strings, and Transportation Engineering and Technology. Again, you can learn about each program and see presentations on each program at our um, Regional Learning Choices Programs pages and find out all you need to know about how to apply. Just a, a few important notes. Students in elementary regional learning choices programs in grades six, seven, and eight will not automatically be accepted into the same program for secondary school. So meaning, meaning students enrolled in the IB program in middle school will not get automatic acceptance to the IB program in secondary. They'll still need to apply. So students must apply to the secondary uh, RLCP in the same way as all other students. And please note that students who are on a visa are not eligible to apply for regional learning choices programs. So now on to the IB program. Um, or the, the International Baccalaureate. So the International Baccalaureate is a nonprofit organization whose mission statement is um, to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect. The IB program uh, offers uh, curriculum from kindergarten all the way to grade 12. Um, here at Turner Fenton, we offer the final two years of the middle years program in grades 9 and 10 and the diploma program. The IB program is a broad and balanced curriculum. Uh, it values and nurtures dispositions such as curiosity and compassion, and in that way it develops the whole student and is seen as a holistic program. An important focus of the IB program is on international mindedness and community service. The IB middle years program, uh, we again, we offer grades 9 and 10 uh, here at Turner Fenton, have both curricular and co-curricular requirements. For the curricular requirements, uh, students will meet both the Ontario and IB curriculum requirements. Um, having a second language or developing a second language is an important part of IB philosophy and French is required in each year of the program. In addition, in order to prepare students for uh, diploma level math, students will take three math courses in grades nine and 10. There are also co-curricular requirements. As I noted, service is an important part of the IB uh, program and philosophy, and um, students are encouraged to complete their 40 hours of community service um, for the Ontario Diploma during grades nine and 10. 
In addition, IB students will write reflections uh, commenting on their growth and their contributions through their service. There's also a personal project, um, which is like a passion project, and which is done on top of. Uh, so you'll notice in the left two columns for grade nine, students will take two math, both grade nine and 10. There are options for art courses. We have music, visual, and digital arts. And you'll notice in grade 10, um, students uh, have the regular um, or are meeting the, the, or have courses for, uh, that meet the Ontario secondary diploma requirements. And they take grade 11 math and either art or phys ed, and their option includes business or technology. Do you want to note that all courses are mandatory and must be completed in regular day school in order to meet the IB curriculum requirements? Students in the IB program are streamed. Uh, um, as while the, the courses are based on Ontario curriculum, they include extensions that go beyond the Ontario cur uh, curriculum. And for that reason, students need to take their uh, MYP courses in day school. I did also want to outline the diploma program, which is in grade 11 and 12, so that um, you have a good understanding of what the requirements and expectations for the program are. Similar to the MY, um, similar to grades 9 and 10, um, the diploma program also has curricular and co-curricular requirements. The diploma program is a two-year program completed over grades 11 and 12. And it is a complete and holistic program that includes curricular and co-curricular requirements. Students will write standardized IB exams and assessments in May of the grade 11 and 12 year. In addition, the co-curricular requirements include creativity, action, and service. Uh, so that basically includes community service and extracurriculars, and students will complete an extended essay, a research level, um, or sorry, a uh, university level research paper. In the IB program, uh, students must take one course in each of the subject areas. So you'll see those in the in the graphic in the second to last outer ring. So there is studies in language and literature, language acquisition, which in our case is French, individuals and societies, which include humanities courses, sciences, maths, and the arts. Students must take three higher level courses, which are three semesters in length, and three standard level courses, which are two semesters in length, over the two years of the program, plus a theory of knowledge course, which is completed in grade 12. Students must take one course in each subject or in each subject group, but do have the option of either a second science or a second individual and society course instead of the arts course. Students wishing other optional courses uh, may take them in summer school. These courses would be Ontario curriculum and would appear on their Ontario transcript. But in order to meet the requirements of the ID, IB diploma, students must meet the um, IB curriculum requirements. Again, I'm going to provide a couple of samples of, of uh, student timetables to show you what uh, courses you would take in the grades 11 and 12. So again, this is a two, two years are outlined here. Um, you'll see that English is, there are three semesters. So students get three in, uh, senior English credits uh, in English. In this uh, suggested timetable, chemistry and biology and one um, uh, 
social science, either business or history. Students will take two French courses in their grade 11, uh, in their grade 11 year, uh, a grade 11 course and a grade 12 course. And again, this is a requirement as um, developing a, a second language is an important part of the IB philosophy. Here's a suggested timetable for students interested in engineering or computer sciences. These, uh, you'll notice that the, this uh, um, bundle includes both physics and chemistry, and it includes higher level math, which includes three math credits, three grade 12 math credits which are sometimes required for uh, engineering programs. Here's a suggested timetable uh, for students interested in the humanities, law, politics, or other programs as that. In this case, a student is, um, could take one science and two social science courses. In this case, history and global politics. And uh, another uh, program bundle, uh, which would appropriate for business, accounting, but also design, journalism, media, or architecture. In this case, students take one course from each subject, including art. And depending on the program, would choose from a different um, science, uh, science option. It's important to note that through the IB art course, students will complete a portfolio which can be which some programs like architecture or design programs um, require in addition to the curricular requirements there are also extracurricular or co-curricular requirements We as a school recognize the importance of extracurriculars in student school experience and support a wide range of opportunities for students. Turner Fenton has a wide range of clubs, academic teams, sports, student councils, and student-led conferences. All of these experience, experiences enrich students' high school experience and help students to meet the IB uh, creativity, action, and service requirements. Again, this is part of the IB philosophy for developing the whole student. So, what are the benefits of an IB diploma? First, it's an internationally recognized high school credential. Universities all around the world recognize the IB diploma. It is a rigorous academic university preparation program and prepares students well for university. There's also potential for advanced standing in university courses. If students score a high enough grade in their higher level course, they can be granted, a, uh, granted credit towards a first year university course. Some universities also offer early admission and scholarships specific for IB students. And we have numerous leadership opportunities through our clubs, teams, academic teams, and extracurriculars. But don't just take our word for it. For it. Um, here it is in, in, um, in students' own voices. Each regional program um, serves a particular catchment or geographic area. So students who are currently in the Peel District School Board, Dufferin Peel Catholic District School Board, 
or a private school living in the region of Peel are eligible to apply. Students who meet the program criteria and who live outside the Peel region will be offered spots once local student applicants have been accommodated. You can visit the Peel site uh, and the Find Your School tool uh, to enter your home address and see a list of regional programs that are available in your boundary. Here are the program boundaries for the IB. The Peel Board offers uh, the IB program at four high schools, Harold Brathwaite, Turner Fenton, Arendale, and Glen Forest. So all students in the Peel region have access to the IB program. You can only apply to the school in whose boundary you reside. Again, refer to the Find My School app or tool on the Peel Board's website to see which IB school you should apply to. All regional programs are based on the Ontario curriculum with each pro program focusing on a particular area of study. The IB program also includes extensions to meet IB curricular and co-curricular requirements, but students will, will complete and uh, if they meet the requirements, uh, earn both the Ontario Secondary School Diploma and the IB Diploma. The entry point for all secondary regional programs is grade nine. Students who are interested in applying to any of the RLCP programs will be required to meet the eligibility criteria that is specific to the program of interest. Applications for secondary regional programs open on November 9th at 8.30 and close on November 23rd at 8.30. The application link will be made available for applicants at peelschools.org backslash regional programs and will be listed on the secondary RLCP page. This is a flowchart of our application deadlines and offers. Again, the application period is between November 9th and November 23rd. First round offers for IB will be given on December 3rd. All other programs will be on February 1st. The reason IB is, is separate from uh, the other regional programs is that in, in order to ensure the feasibility of the program, uh, we need to be uh, fill the program completely. And because there are um, significant accreditation costs, it is important that uh, the IB programs are filled. Offers, uh, first round offers for the IB program will be made on December 9th and all other regional programs February 8th. There is rounds for second round offers and a wait list as well. Based on a process of self-identification, all African, Black, First Nations, Inuit and Métis students who self-identify and meet the criteria for admission will be accepted into the program without participating in the random selection process. This is an important action to address the systemic inequities for Indigenous and Black students in the Peel Board. The random selection process is completed centrally at the board level and not at the school level. All regional programs have fees attached to them. Uh, for the majority of regional programs, there is a $40 non-refundable application fee and annual program fees. Most program fees are $200, um, although IB is one, ex is one of the exceptions. IB um, program fees for the IB program are $257.50 in grades 9 and 10 and $1,390 in grade 11 and grade 12. 
the program fees are considerably more in grades 11 and 12 in order to cover IB exam fees, which must be paid for each student enrolled. Fees also cover IB accreditation costs, training costs for teachers, and enhanced resources for students. Financial supports are available. Financial support uh, for assistance with the $40 application fee, please connect with your grade eight school principal. If you need assistance with program fees, please connect with the principal at the, at the RLCP school after you've been accepted into the program. Once you've successfully applied to a Regional Learning Choices program, you will receive a confirmation email after submitting your application online. If you do not receive an email confirming your application has been received, please wait 24 hours before contacting the school. Schools will only be able to view your application after 24 hours. For each regional program, there is a two-step uh, application process, which includes a random selection process. Once a student applies, there will be a review of the report cards. And in some cases, regional programs will have additional participation components. If a student meets the program criteria, they will move on to the second step of the process. If the student meets the program criteria, the application will be entered into a random selection process for each program. In the random selection process, a computer will randomly assign a number to each applicant who has successfully met the criteria for each program, and spaces for the programs will be offered. Again, the random, uh, the random selection process is completed centrally at the board level and not at the school level. All African, Black, First Nations, Inuit, and Métis students who self-identify and meet the criteria for admission will be in accepted into the program without participating in the random selection process. The participation component for the IB includes a short uh, essay or written response on a given prompt. This will be shared um, when the application window opens. The written response can be, can be, be completed at home uh, over a period of time and is submitted digitally. For the process on offers, acceptances, and wait lists. Each regional program has a specific number of spots and offers of acceptance will be sent to that specific number of applicants. In the case of Turner Fenton's IB program, we have 168 spots for grade nine. If a student applies to multiple programs and accepts one offer, they will automatically be removed from the other programs they applied to. Once students have been offered all available spaces in a specific regional learning choices program, the remaining students will be placed on the school's wait list and will be offered a spot if one is available. All regional programs are open to all eligible students. Students who meet the criteria for acceptance to the programs and who live in the Peel region, Brampton, Caledon, and Mississauga, will be offered spots first. Students who meet the program criteria and who live outside of the region of Peel will be offered spots once local student applicants have been accommodated. In some cases, all spots may be offered to students who live in Peel. Students who live in Peel can only apply to regional programs they are eligible for based on the program's boundary. The Peel Board considers all Peel students, not just Peel Board students, before it considers outside Peel applications. But RLCP boundaries are honored based on address. Students who did not attend a Peel District School Board school in 
uh, either grade seven or eight, will be required to submit the required documentation online in their application form and email it to the school when applying for the program. Uh, schools may request original documentation at a future date. The documents required typically are the grade seven final report card and grade eight progress report. So if you did not attend the Peel District School Board School, you will need to send these to, to the school. An important note about transportation. Transportation is not provided for students in regional programs. If students have been accepted into a regional program and they live within the school boundary, they are eligible for busing only if they meet the distance criteria outlined in policy 39, transportation. And there's a link provided there. A disclaimer regarding the private school bus transportation. Some programs are supported by parent funded school bus transportation. This is a fee based service that is contracted directly between parents and a third party company. Please note, neither the school nor Peel Board is involved with this agreement. All aspects of safety, insurance, licensing, communications, fees, applications, service complaints, student behavior and pick up and drop off locations are the responsibility of the third party bus company. You can visit our website for more information, including frequently asked questions at uh, Turner Fenton's website. And you can contact me, uh, Michael Langford, by email at michael.langford at plsb.com or uh, at my direct line, 905-453-9220, extension 630. Thank you for your uh, thank you for your interest in our program, and I look forward to meeting you.